Greetings, folks. My name is James Hackley, author of the best-selling book, Body, Mind, and Spirit, The Awakening. And I encourage you to visit me at www.jameshackley, that's H-A-C-K-L-E-Y.com. And check out me, check out what the book is all about. And if it moves you, then I also encourage you to go ahead and just uh, buy a copy of the book to support this um, movement as well. Because it's more than just a book. When we consider and we talk about body, mind, and spirit, The Awakening, it's more than just a book. This is a movement. So I just wanted to spend a couple of minutes telling you the story behind this book. Uh, long story short, it was January last year, January the 3rd, uh, that I decided that, hey, it was time for me to, at the time, just lose weight. So like most of you, I began watching what I was to eat, watching what uh, I was doing, and starting to work out more. Uh, so that handled the body part. Uh, I was beginning to lose weight and things of that nature. However, a couple of weeks into that, uh, we were sitting around Sunday mornings, as we have been doing for the past four years, uh, listening to gospel music on um, satellite the radio. And after Vashon Mitchell's song, Nobody Greater, went off, my daughter looked at me and said, hey, Daddy, I want to go to church today. So how could I deny her? So I looked at the watch, looking at my watch. It wasn't quite 11 o'clock, so we put on our clothes and headed to the church. Unfortunately, that church that we visited uh, in the pinch that was the same church that basically uh, led to the reason why we, we hadn't been attending in the past four years. Uh, things had happened there. You know, there's always drama in the church. Um, so I uh, went back to that church, but um, the spirit was still dead. But I did not let that uh, keep me from um, starting this regular habit of going to the church. So the following Sunday, we went to Holy and Whole Life Changing Ministries in Lansdowne, Virginia. And after five minutes of listening to Pastor Michelle Thomas uh, bring the word, I knew that we had finally found a new church home after four and a half years of just being idle. So that satisfied another piece that honestly I didn't know that I was missing. You know, I had reconciled in my brain that I was going to improve body uh, through losing weight and conditioning, things of that nature, but I didn't even know that I was missing the spiritual piece until I got there and was fed with the word. So that started my whole concept of the major epiphany of putting body, mind, and spirit, the awakening. But the clincher actually occurred on February 26th because uh, when I started January 3rd, every Saturday and Sunday, I'm in sales, so I'm always on the road. So every Saturday and Sunday when I'm home, I go running and it's about a four mile course. So on February 26th, I had to get up bright and early. Actually, I was up before the sun even shone, um, yawned that morning and I had to go running and about a half a mile into that run, a feeling just came over me like, you have to write this book, Body, Mind and Spirit, The Awakening. And I had traveled miles, uh, two or three miles during the run, not knowing how I would travel the distance. It was like a surreal thing. And at the end of that run, after four miles, typically my muscles would be a bit sore and I'd be a bit winded. But on this particular day, when I did my last stride, I felt like I'd refreshed, like I had just gotten out of bed and I walked through the door and I said, hey baby, I think I'm going to write a book. Now granted, at this time, I had never written a book before. I didn't know anything about anatomy, physiology. I didn't know anything about spirituality. I was just a regular guy, and something was put on, this, on my heart. And through retrospect, I now realized that February 26th, that was the day of my anointing to write this book. So mentally, after February 26th, I started writing it in my mind. And I knew that April always began the season of harvest or, or planting seeds. So I sat down at this computer that I'm talking to you today from, on April 1, start writing the book. Seven months later to the day, October 1, I was giving my first presentation and I had this book in hand. Seven months after starting, the book was done. I had a copy of the book and I was talking to folks, folks about the benefits of including body, mind, and spirit, the awakening. So that's a little snap, snapshot into my story. And I look forward to hearing your story as well. Once again, I encourage you to visit me at www.jameshackley.com or send me an email to info, info at jameshackley.com. I believe that if you're watching this video, you're not watching it by accident. Something led you to watch this video. So if you're one of the individuals who tried various diets before and it just didn't work, then you need to read Body, Mind, and Spirit, The Awakening. If last year, all of last year, if you or just in the midst of chaos and you couldn't quiet your mind, then Body, Mind, and Spirit is a, is a book you need to read. If something is missing, if you're trying to satisfy this void in your life through food, through gambling, through sex, through a bunch of other nonsense, the spirit is probably missing. So I encourage you to read this book, Body, Mind, and Spirit, The Awakening. Once again, thank you for your time, and I look forward. I look forward to what God is going to do in your life. God bless.